Hey everyone, it's Edie with Earth Fire Arts and today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make the geometric mug. This is one of our kits offered at Earth Fire and um, it's a super fun, simple kit. I'm going to show you what's in the kit first. You'll get your kit. Inside the kit you will have your ceramic piece along with the necessary tape for the taping part of this project brushes, and your colors of paint. Should have put them there. Now, we are gonna start this project by taping our mug off. So as you can see, there's the lines from the tape. That's what's gonna keep the white portions of your mug. So, you are going to take a piece of tape from your roll, and you are going to put it on and you don't have to put it straight up and down. You kind of want some, some movement in it. So I'm going to put it on sideways. Make sure you really secure it down. If it's, if it's lifted, the paint will have space to get in. So I'm going to secure it down really well. And then I like to just fold it around on the bottom. Perfect. Um, and you're going to do this all around the mug. And I'm going to show you a technique when doing this. Instead of crossing over other things, if you want to, you can, if you kind of want like a more crossed over geometric, these ones, we're taking them from where our line is and we are building off of that. And you are just going to continue taping in whatever way you want to do it. You can even tape out your name and paint directly over it and your name would show up. So get creative with the tape, as you can see in this one kind of just geometric, fun, put put your tape in and make it yours. This is a unique piece. I'm going to have one that looks like yours. So put the tape on, get creative. <laughs> really quick, before we get painting, some additional things you might want. A little thing of water and a paper towel. Now I'm gonna show you the taped product. I taped these down. Um, go around one more time, run your fingers all the over all these lines that you put just to make sure they're really secure because we are going to be painting now. Pick one of your paint colors to start and you're going to paint it. If you paint on the tape, that is fine. <laughs> all the red let's check it out you can see I went on to that tape and it's actually better to go on to the tape than to go right up to the corner of it because if you go on it you know that your triangle is going to be completely filled out to switch colors take your brush rinse it off in the water and the great thing about these paints is that they are before they're fired they're washable with water so if you are painting and you paint a big line across a part where you did not want a red line Go ahead and grab um, a paper towel with some water on it and just wipe it off. If you're having trouble getting it off, you can literally rinse your whole mug and start over. So that's the great thing about these is if you make a mistake, you can wipe it off. Next, I'm going to pick blue and I'm going to paint my blue triangle. again rinse my brush into the water wipe it off on my paper towel and move on to the next color which for me is going to be green <laughs> Now 
that I finished my green, I'm gonna go on ahead and finish up with my yellow. my first coat of all the colors just finished yellow and what you're gonna do now is you're going to do a second coat of all the colors so if you want you can wait a minute let yellow dry and start your second coat I'm just finishing my second coat of my last color which is red so I've now done two coats of yellow green blue and I'm finishing my last red triangle you can do up to three coats after that it doesn't make much of a difference so Definitely with yellow, I do three to get that very bright yellow as you see in our example. Now that you have done all your painting, we are going to start peeling the tape off. Make sure it's dry, okay? That's step one. Um, you're going to find where you taped your pieces. This is kind of my favorite part. And you're going to pull them off one at a time. <laughs> Now that you've got all your tape off, you can fix any little mistakes that you see. Sometimes you get little mistakes from um, where your other tape was overlapping. I'm gonna fix this little red thing right here. Just take your brush and fill it in. Pretty easy, okay? And that is actually your complete mug. If you want, you can paint the, the handle, anything unpainted will be glossy. My mug is done. Um, I'm super excited. Make sure you get your mug back to Earth by Our Arts. We'll glaze it and you will have a super cute mug. Once it's glazed, you can drink out of it. Uh, dishwasher safe, all that great stuff. Um, I'm actually gonna go make some hot chocolate, so I'll see y'all later.